I love being an ophthalmologist because I get to help people protect that vision and make a real difference in their lives every single day. One example that comes to mind is a six-year-old little boy with Labor's congenital amaurosis. Well, a few years ago, the very first ophthalmic gene therapy was approved for treatment of this disease, and he was one of the first patients that I treated. I still vividly remember that right after his surgery, which took place around Halloween, his mother brought him back for a checkup, and the first thing she told me with tears in her eyes was that her son was able to go trick-or-treating for the first time in his life, and how meaningful it was to him and the entire family. It's really moments like these where I feel so incredibly proud and privileged to serve others as an ophthalmologist. Ophthalmology is the coolest medical specialty because we really get to bring some of the latest technologies and scientific advances, both in terms of diagnostic imaging, our surgical equipment, as well as medicines to our patients, and we're able to see an immediate difference in their lives. We don't have to wait weeks or months many times to see the benefit of what we do. And when you can help people restore their vision and you can see them smile the next day and you appreciate how much more richness that adds to their lives, it makes us very thankful to do what we do. I love being an ophthalmologist because the good parts of our profession uh, really haven't changed with the pandemic. Um, sure, things have been tough. I'm wearing a mask. I don't get to uh, see as many smiles and sometimes have trouble recognizing my patients. Uh, but I, I now just look uh, up at the crow's feet to see them smiling when they're happy because they can see again after a cataract surgery. So I still see things every day. Uh, that bring me back to why I entered ophthalmology, which is to uh, make people happy by enhancing their vision-related quality of life. So we're still at it and we're still loving it. The fundamentals are here and that makes me happy to be practicing. When the pandemic began, many of my elderly patients were not going out of their houses at all for the fear of COVID. And yet they were still coming in for their intravitreal injections. So it got me curious and asked one of the patients, were you not afraid of catching COVID during this outing? And I will never forget her words. She said, Dr. Kim, I'd rather die of COVID than to live blind. It reminded me once again how important and precious vision is to our patients. Our patients have provided me much motivation during the pandemic as they come in and see me and share with, the, with me how grateful they are for what I've done for them and what a motivator to have patients appreciate your efforts and helping them live their lives by preserving their sight. I'm an oculoplastic surgeon, so most of my work is protecting the eye and improving their appearance, and they appreciate both. I wanna thank all my patients because it allows me to come to work every day, motivated to help them, and if I had to do it again, I would choose ophthalmology all over. One of the most meaningful experiences I had is I, I went in to see an, uh, an ocular trauma patient in the emergency room. And after I was done seeing the patient and was headed out the door, uh, the mother of the boy pulled me aside and said, we were so grateful that it was you that walked into the room. And I, I didn't think I'd ever met these people. I didn't really know them. And she said, whether you realize it or not, uh, our other son had a major eye trauma 10 years ago and it was you that took care of them and operated on them and we just wanted to let you know what an impact that you've made on our family and uh, how that was just such a rewarding experience for me as a physician and an ophthalmologist uh, to hear that from a family. Um, it's really the relationships that we develop with our patients uh, that have the most meaning uh, in, in the long run and are the most rewarding parts about the practice of medicine and, and ophthalmology. Despite the difficulties of the last two years, the practice of pediatric ophthalmology still provides the most restorative times when I spend them with my patients. The joy of the toddler who runs in and gives me a hug when he's coming in to play eye games in a mostly painless eye exam or the grateful parent when their child shows that their amblyopia has now been well treated. And maybe the most grateful patients are those adults who have the sudden onset of double vision and require eye muscle surgery in order to treat the diplopia. These are the moments that I remind myself of when the practice of medicine and ophthalmology gets tough. And when I do, I am still able to be grateful that I chose this profession and this career. 
In my practice now at the Juliet Eye Institute, I'm passionate about helping people see at their very best to get out of their contacts and their glasses. We do LASIK surgery, the newest form of LASIK surgery, smile surgery. We do refractive lens exchange using some of the most advanced technology. It's just so fascinating to be in the field of ophthalmology to help patients see at their very, very best. So I'm so fortunate to be doing what I'm doing. I have such great uh, staff members and colleagues and wonderful patients. It's one of the best medical specialties, I think, uh, in medicine. So for many, many years, I've had these old couples that have come in and the guy's been my patient and the guy doesn't say anything. You know, I'll ask him how he's doing. I'll ask him if he's ready for cataract surgery. And there's a lady right over there, his wife, that's saying he's doing fine or he's not doing fine. And the guy doesn't say three or four words and it's just kind of strange. And, and um, But it's so common. Well, during COVID, you know, guys had to come by themselves. They couldn't come in with their wife because we had some rules about who could come in. And so these guys were all by themselves. And I'd ask them how they were doing and they were like chatty chatty, you know, telling me how great everything was, how bad everything was, or having this problem or that problem. But the flip side of that, which was equally interesting, was when these same guys would go to the OR and we'd do surgery on them, their wives were not allowed into the operating room. Uh, and so after the surgery, I'd call them up and say, uh, say to her, hey, I'm so sorry you couldn't come in to the operating room, you know, everything went really well. And like nine out of 10 of those ladies would say, this is the greatest day I've had. You can keep them. Just keep them for the weekend. I'm having such a good time. And so that's why ophthalmology is fun, you know. You get a little glimpse into human nature. Uh, most of what we deal with is positive and pretty fun. And so I just really love finding out more about old men just like me. I love being an ophthalmologist because it is the most interesting field. We are always on the cutting edge of technology and equipment and it's amazing because every day in the clinic you may see something that you've never seen before and some days if you're really lucky you might even see something that nobody's ever seen before. So I'm constantly learning and it's just an amazing field to be in. We make an amazing difference in our patients' lives by treating their vision and helping them to see better and truly improving their quality of life. I love being an ophthalmologist. I love working with kids and their families, working with them to improve their eyesight for the lifetime. I love that I can really intervene early to provide a lifetime of good vision and healthy eyes as best as I can. And if I can't, then I work with them to maximize their vision um, as much as possible. I get to work with monkeys, monsters, toys, and aliens get my examination. I have so much fun with my job and I love making an impact in children's lives and their eyes. Hi, what's good about ophthalmology? There are really three wonderful reasons that ophthalmology is so good. First of all, the people. We get to help those in need and make their lives better. We also have the people that are our colleagues in ophthalmology. What a wonderful group. Two, purpose. Vision makes life so much richer. Three, passion. Innovation. Opportunities to do parallel uh, outreach in research or education or in standard setting or in advocacy are all at our fingertips. So, people, purpose, passion, thank you. The pandemic has been challenging for everybody. For me personally, I feel very fortunate to be able to go to work every day to protect sight and empower lives. Besides affirming my decision to enter ophthalmology, I am grateful to make a meaningful difference in the lives of my patients every day. And this has fueled my optimism for the future of the profession. I've got the best job in the world. I love being an ophthalmologist because sight is such a precious commodity. I meet patients when they are feeling the most vulnerable or scared, and with my medical and surgical training, I can restore or preserve their sight. And despite the challenges of the pandemic for everyone, I am inspired by the patients that still come in for exams and treatments because they value their sight too and it offers me an opportunity to come to work excited every day to offer treatments and to give them hope. When they entrust 
their vision to me. They're really entrusting their life, their livelihood, and their future. And that's why this is such a privilege to be an ophthalmologist, and I have the best job in the world.